Hello, I'm William Snyder, curator at the Eisenhower Presidential Library and Museum, and welcome to our tour of our new temporary exhibit, Eisenhower, Agent of Change. We have a wonderful quote that inspired much of our inspiration for this exhibit. Eisenhower said, the curve of change bends ever steeply upward. For instance, the Eisenhower administration signed the first significant civil rights legislation since the end of the Civil War. Both the 49th and 50th states, Alaska and Hawaii, were added during the Eisenhower administration. To help make travel easier, the Eisenhower administration also proposed, developed, and began the funding for and the construction of the interstate highway system. Most historians agree that one of Ike's major achievements was keeping the Cold War cold. There was also significant developments in intelligence gathering and covert operations. A famous incident of covert operations during the Eisenhower administration turned to a major political embarrassment. This was the downing by the Soviet Union of the U-2 spy plane carrying Francis Gary Powers. In the next section of the exhibit, Atoms for Peace and War, we discuss how Eisenhower witnessed the dawn of the atomic age. While deeply concerned about the atom's potential for destruction, he worked to reframe the debate over nuclear science by advocating its peaceful applications. One of the peaceful applications for atomic power was the early attempts at irradiation for food preservation. Unfortunately, the samples we have on display were not identified at the time and the irradiation process didn't really preserve them very well, so we really don't know what they are. The next section of the exhibit that we're really excited about is that we were recently given permission to show in its entirety Eisenhower's famous farewell address. In it, he makes reference very famously to the military-industrial complex. He also talks very poignantly about overspending and spending money that the government does not have, which robs from future generations. One of the major impacts on the scientific community during the Eisenhower administration was the founding of ARPA, or the Advanced Research Projects Agency. One of the major accomplishments was the creation of ARPANET. This was the beginning of the internet. The Eisenhower administration also founded NASA. We, here we are at the end of the Space Shuttle program. In this exhibit, we have taken a look at the legacies left to us by the, by the Eisenhower administration. Here we are 50 years out from the end of the Eisenhower presidency, and although NASA was founded during the Eisenhower administration, we are at the end of the Space Shuttle program. Eisenhower remains very relevant today. What will space travel look like? What will social issues look like? What will scientific advancements look like in another 50 years?